Hello my gaming enthusiasts and welcome back to a new video on the channel. A new hotfix has just been released for Redux being 1.2.8 so I'm here to break down all the hotfix notes for you guys. If you don't want to hear me ramble on about all of the different changes you can find a link to the changelog in the description down below if you'd like to read up on them for yourselves but with that being said let's get straight to it. Starting us off in the general changes, a loot spawn pattern has been added to each of the four legacy hunts and also been added to the the mainframe boss in the Malawan takedown. Into balance changes, the slam and slide mayhem scaling has been increased, Moses Iron Bear railgun weapon damage has been increased, and the mainframe's enemy damage values have been decreased. As for loot changes, three new items have been added into the mod for players to go and track down. I will have videos going up on them in the coming days, so be sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. But as for weapon buffs, they are plentiful. There are so many in fact that I'm just going to have to speed through them really quick here so uh yeah let's see how good we can do the sandhawk flipper gargoyle unkempt harold kibsworth harmful takes servos execute lsdd 5000 craters mp5 firefly demon core omen shocker gunnerang bangerang the horizon bright side king and queen's call prompt critical reflux chaosin redistributor tigs boom night hawking light show dousing rod warlord rebound saw bar nft polybius butcher Zaitsev's Eruption, Polyamorous, a Needle Gun, Vosk's Death Grip, Carrier, Inferno, Long Musket, and the Old Gods Elemental Damage have all been buffed. As for the Kettle, the Splash Radius has also been buffed on that. The Vosk's Death Grip Projectile Radius has been increased, and the Interfacer's Dedicated Drop Rate has also been increased. Furthermore, so has the Arc on Premises, that drop rate is now increased. The Long Musket TDR SMG can now roll in any element. Both the Sandhawk and the Vosk's Death Grip have both had their ammo per shot cost decreased. The Plumage has had its damage nerfed. The Freeman has also had its weapon damage nerfed. And the Chain Ripper has had its dot damage nerfed. Now there is an additional section here just for one part in particular of these changes and it's the Guardian Takedown. It says in this update we're making some long overdue changes to the Guardian Takedown based off of community feedback. First of all, a loot drop pattern has been added in for Scourge the Invincible and Anathema the Relentless. And as for Anathema the Relentless, she has also had three immunity phases added back into her fight. So instead of the normal 12 in vanilla, there is now three as opposed to the zero that there once was in the Redux mod. And also the drop rates for certain items in Scourge's loot pool has been buffed and the following drops are the Iridian Focusing Stone, which now has a 30% drop chance from Scourge, the Excessus Mortis which now has a 3% drop chance up from 1% and a variation of Pearlescence which have a 5% drop chance. Then on to the bug fixes portion of this hotfix we have a bug that was fixed causing the Longschlong Dick Destroyer 5000's weapon damage to be lower than intended, a bug fixed causing the Red Suit's special effect to not work as intended, there was a bug where the Red Suit would not make you immune to rat damage that has now been fixed. Fixed a bug causing the Tatla to be deleted from the player's inventory when reloading a save. Fixed a bug causing the spark plug coil to register as the incorrect damage type and I know that is gonna hurt you ball players so much. I am so, so incredibly sorry. And then finally for the bug fixes here, addressed a report that the Hunter Seeker grenade mod was not dropping from its intended item pool. And then to end off of the 1.2.8 hotfix notes, we have the vaulted gear. This is the gear that was removed in order to put the three new items into the game. The following items are the Linoge, the Two Time, and the Amazing Grace. But with that being said, that does it for the hotfix notes for Redux mod 1.2.8. Lots of amazing changes in here. I can only see this making the mod absolutely thousands times better. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you want to go and see the full notes, they are in the link in the description. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.